I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to represent position, displacement, velocity in vectors. The equation here is a particle P x of t y of t moves such that x of t equals to 2 minus 3t and y of t equals to 2t plus 4 where t is greater than or equal to 0. Illustrate the motion of the particle and find its speed in meters per second. So let's try to understand the function itself. It's written as position function p in terms of x and y. And x is a function of time. y is also a function of time. Do you get this part right? So position is function of time. That's what we are trying to say here. Uh, let me just make a diagram here to represent the situation. So we can take uh, time along the x-axis and uh, position p on the y-axis. So it says moves such that x of t is some value and y of t is some other value. So it's given in terms of parameter t, which is time. So this is actually equal to, we can say x of t equals to 2 minus 3t, 2 minus 3t, and y of t is equal to 2t plus 4. It's good to write 4 first, right? That's the convention. 4 plus 2t. Do you get it? So that is the first step to understand the position itself. And this gives you the equation of the motion of the particle, actually, in parametric form. We could actually write this in the vector form also. Or we could write... Uh, like uh, like we do let's say x y i mean okay x y is equal to what is the initial point if i substitute t equals to zero what happens let me also write that t is greater than equal to zero right so the initial point is when t equals to zero it is two for x and four for y so the initial point is two four correct and every other point you could find by placing the value of t as greater than 0, where t belongs to set of real numbers, right? So you get a continuous path. And that is the motion we're talking about of the particle. So that is t times minus 3, 2. Correct? Now, if I have to illustrate this in 2D or R2, well, we call this R2, Cartesian plane. Then we can begin with this point 2, 4, that is to say, let's say this is 1, this is 2, and that is x, y. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that's the position. So, that represents my initial position, okay? Now from here, we move minus 3, 2, minus 3, 2. So let me show you the next point. Minus 3 means 1, 2, 3, that is minus 3. And 2 up, that means 1, 2. You move to this point. And then again, to get more points, 1, 2, 3. And then 2 up, 1, 2. That is how you are moving. You get an idea, right? So the path which is being followed is, is like this. Join these points. Correct? Now, if you notice, you could go either way, right? You could actually go either way. But anyway, this is the path which you are following. But since we are given a condition and the condition is that t is greater than or equal to 0, you're actually starting from here 
and moving this way. Correct? So that is the motion along a straight line. So I hope that helps you to visualize. So this is um, when t is 0, this parameter t equals to 0, then we have this point which is 2, 4. And you're moving in this direction. Perfect. Minus 3, 2. So where t is greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, only in this direction. So I hope this part is absolutely clear. So you understand this motion, right? So that is how you can illustrate the motion of the particle. And now what we need to find is speed in meters per second. So we'll assume now the plane time is in seconds and position is given in meters. So we'll write position in terms of meters and time in terms of seconds. Does it make sense to you, right? Okay. Now, how do we get speed from the equation which relates position? I hope you remember this a triangle. Let me make one here. Actually, many students are confused about this point, and I've got so many requests. Let me, so I'm taking my time to illustrate. I'm writing D, distance, I should have written position, but anyway, let's go with the old formula, right, DST, old formula. So we know distance is speed into time, right? So we know here, distance is speed into time. So with time, we're traveling, moving away. Uh, position, we will say, is what was the starting point? We'll call this as our initial position, let's say P0, plus distance which we traveled with time. Do you see that? Plus this product, S and T. Let me write S and T. So here, S is the speed we are interested in finding and with time, right? So S, S is the speed. You see how we get S? So that's the basic concept, speed. So if you compare this equation, you would always write this as any position x, y is given as initial position x0, y0 plus times. And since this is also direction, right? So I'll call this as the velocity vector. Now in this case, time is greater than or equal to 0. This is the velocity vector. What is speed? Speed is magnitude of velocity. Correct? Velocity is direction and magnitude. Do you understand? So, so speed is the magnitude of velocity. So let's calculate speed now. So speed, which is magnitude of velocity, and this is our velocity, minus 3, 2. So magnitude means square root of minus 3 square plus 2 square. Square root. And that gives you square root of 3 square is 9 plus 4. And that is square root of 13. So square root of 13 is the speed. So therefore, our answer is that the object is moving, or the party is moving with the speed of square root 13 meters per second. Does it make sense to you? So that is the concept of position. And whenever there is a movement, we have a displacement. Rate of change of position is velocity. Magnitude of velocity is speed. Do you get the idea? So that is how all these things are related. So in this list of videos, I'll have a few more examples to see how vectors help us to understand uh, position, velocity, speed, and things like that. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to write your comments and post questions. If you like and subscribe, that'd be great. Thanks a lot.